All right, guys, this might be the last time you get to go ahead and see the Eco Beast. <sighs> Decided to go ahead and uh, make a move, a big move. I'm going to go ahead and trade in the Eco Boost for the Mustang GT. The reason why I'm going to go ahead and make the switch, I thought about it multiple times. One of the biggest reasons is that with a stock Mustang GT, you're looking at bigger numbers than a full bolt-on Mustang EcoBoost with 91 pump gas. Maybe 93 will add a little bit more, but you just can't compare the numbers. And then once you go ahead and do a full bolt-on GT and a tune, it's, it just really wakes up the car. Having the Mustang EcoBoost was pretty cool. It was my first car that I ever modded. Pretty much it was a full bolt-on car. It, the max I was able to reach with this car was 303 horsepower to the wheel and 355 foot-pounds of torque to the wheel also show you guys around again the car looks yep came to an end it's gonna suck seeing you go but it's uh so we went to go ahead and test drive the car my, bro, my boy said it's fucking beast mode. So, oh look at it, another Mustang. Uh, so it'd be six, uh, exactly. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we decided, well I decided I'm gonna go ahead and get it. Mechanic over here approved it. Now the only thing we're gonna do now is just go ahead and uh, put the car back to stock. You're gonna see my other friend, Vidal hopefully come through. And we'll see who else comes through so we can go ahead and put my car back to stock. Ah, the days are being counted. No more. No more eco boosts. No more eco beasts. No more eco beasts. <laughs> Damn. We already got one of the crew members here. Bag riders. Damn, my bad. Yeah. So we're gonna put that bitch. All that. All the all aftermarket parts. We're gonna go even the grill. We're gonna put back to stock. Full bolt on eco boost going back to stock. I got the moves, I got the moves, oh, I'm making moves. You gotta move, you gotta move. She made that back move, damn. She made the titties move, damn. I made the city move, I made the city move. I got the moves, I'm making moves. I got the moves. I got the moves. I'm making moves. I'm making moves. You gotta move. You gotta. She made that back move. Yeah. She made the titties move. Goddamn. It's a 2015 50 anniversary package Mustang GT. It's all white. It came tinted already. It also has the Roush axle back and the next pipe. Another cool thing about it is it comes with the Brembo brake kit. 50th anniversary look. It's white, I switched it up. I already kind of added the decal, the Team No Limit decal. And just want to go ahead and make this video because uh, I want to give you guys an update. So I sold recently the Mustang EcoBoost. Well, I traded it in. And they gave me a good uh, amount for it. Of course, you're always going to be under underwater, which um, I was, but it wasn't that bad. It was like $1,000, which I was going to go ahead and spend on anyways on buying some new tires. So I decided either to buy new tires or to trade it up for a GT. What ended up happening is that I was able to go ahead and, you know, push my car with the full bolt-ons and wanted to go a little bit more faster. I ended up doing 303 to the wheels. Uh, horsepower and t torque was 350 something 355 I think and I caught the V8 torque but the horsepower wasn't there and it was a cool ride I saw the MPGs going down and you know and it was automatic so I wanted to go ahead and try something different this one is stick so this one stick shift manual transmission way different I had the car for a week now and I'll tell you this it's it handles way different than the Mustang EcoBoost um, you can really feel the weight on top on the front end 
and uh, right now I currently have the stock suspension so I'm not gonna mod that yet the first actual mod I'm gonna go ahead and do is just reuse my Mishimoto expansion tank we're gonna remove that one from the stock stock um, engine bay we're gonna remove that one and reuse it I'm thinking the next mod also would be just appearance mods because the engine wise is already making more than the Mustang EcoBoost on 91 octane so the Mustang GT makes th around 350 horsepower and 360 wheel torque so I still have to get a dyno so I could go ahead and make sure what numbers I have but as you guys could tell I already got a little bit tired of the EcoBoost and I don't, it was between this or going big turbo and I decided you know what you're never going to get that same V8 noise. One thing I have planned for is to tint the tail lights. Uh, I already have an axle box and X pipe so I don't really got to do much to the exhaust. Maybe headers in the, in the future and uh, a cold air intake. I'm going to go ahead and wrap the roof black. Wrap that black and the rear diffuser. I don't want to go ahead and get the RTR grill yet. I mean the RTR diffuser and yeah that's pretty much it for now I'll go ahead and keep you guys updated after the appearance mods I'll probably save up later on for suspension I was gonna go ahead and do coils but I feel like coils are cool but I want something adjustable because it's my daily so I might go ahead and do airbags so I'll keep you guys posted if you guys have any questions regarding the EcoBoost that I had or just traded in the vehicle or how much I got this one for uh, you know uh, hit up the comments i can go ahead and reply any questions you guys have and anyone that has a mustang ecoboost that traded up to a gt will understand that it's a whole different car once you have the gt it's you, you fall in love with it instantly